Hi guys, in this video, I'll be talking about the differences between context variables and global variables and when to use either of these variables. The agenda for this video is, in the first place, I'll explain what are context variables, then global variables, then the differences between them, which to choose and when, what are the use cases of both of them, and a practical demonstration in Talon of using both of these variables. When I talk about context variables, so these variables are generally set prior to job execution and could also be set outside of the job design. By saying so, it means we can set the values through talent data administration center or maybe through external parameter files. And for context variables, we need to define the data type at the time of creation of these variables. We need to be specific if they're going to be string, integer, or any other data type. Talking about global variables, so generally, they are set at the time when the job is already executed. So we are setting the values at runtime. And there is no predefined data type of global variables. We need to cast the value. We need to cast the variable once and when we are going to use it. So we need to be sure about the data type, either it's going to be a string or integer. This is exactly like a global hash map with, with no defined data types. If I talk about the differences, so for context variables, I would say the most prominent difference would be that when we talk about parent child data transfer, when we are transferring data between a parent job and a child job, then only context variables can receive values on child side. What does that mean? I'm basically going to give a practical demonstration regarding this point in talent in this video afterwards. When I talk about global variables, so the most prominent difference would be that T flow to iterate component when we are using. So when we are iterating over the rows, then column values are always stored in global variables so that they are accessible in all of the components which are ahead of T flow to iterate component. Which one to use? I would say you can choose either of them because both are able to achieve any functionality and generally they are used interchangeably and basically it depends on the style of development so both are fine and both are good you can go ahead with either of them now let's have a look on the practical demonstration of the use cases of both of these variables. As you can see in the design workspace, I've already included three components. This is the list of configuration tabs here. And inside context variables, we can see I've already created one variable known as var1 of string data type. And the value is my first variable. Now let's talk about the global variable. So this is the component which is used to set the values of global variables and even to initialize the global variable. So if we see the settings of this of this component, so the variable name is my key and the value is global var value. And as previously mentioned, we 
do not and we cannot specify the data type of global variables we need to cast it on runtime i've used another component t java component and this component is going to display the values of the context variable and the global variable so in order to retrieve the list of all context variables we can simply type context dot and control space initially we have just one variable so we can see only one in order to retrieve the value of the global variable we, we write global map dot get and then the variable name and then we need to cast it since we know it's a string we are writing it a string if it was integer then we need to specify integer let's go and run the job as expected we can see context variable value and global variable value while explaining the differences between global variables and context variables i mentioned that for data transfer between parent and child job we can only use context variables on child job to receive the variables and we cannot use global variables on child job to receive the data So initially I have created one variable on the parent side of string data type and value my first variable parent job and now we are going to transmit this variable to child job where it's going to catch it and it's going to display it on the console. We're going to take the option transmit to whole context and we will make sure that we have a context variable with the same name on child side and we do have with no value initialized we can take a look that this message will be displayed on child side let's run parent job and see the result As expected, we have received the value of the context variable of the parent side, my first variable parent job. Now, as I said, we can also transmit the value from a global variable to child side. So in this case, we'll just go and see the name of the variable. It's my key. In this case, we do not want to transfer the value from context variable, rather we want to create a variable of our own. This is the code to retrieve the global variable and then to it, then cast it to string data type. Now, once again, we're going to run the code and let's see the results. This time we transferred the value from global variable, so the same value is being received in the child sub job, in the child job basically. So this is how we can transfer value or data between parent and child job. I hope the video has been quite useful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video if you liked it please give it a like and do subscribe to my channel so that you keep getting updates about all future videos i'll see you guys in the next video